Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Save My Campaign video. This is part two of our Athens Save My Campaign for Static. And what's happened so far? We've been ping ponging between the Aetolians and the Achaean League, fighting against us, and now we are trying to take out the Achaean League once and for all before moving on to the rest of the campaign this will be completed in this episode guys so stay tuned make sure you like and subscribe and also submit your campaigns down in the discord below where you can also find the saves for this one so thank you very much guys and on to the video yes, uh, now what i'm going to do i am actually going to recruit a mercenary cretan archers i know it's a lot of money but that they are going to man the uh, the ladders for us because I don't want my Athenian hoplites manning the ladders because they'll just get crushed. So uh, I am going to use the archers on the ladders. And they are faster as well. So I will see you all on the battle map. I probably will actually record this one. Here we are. It's very likely that the AI will not man the walls with any of their units. So... I'm going to go over here because this is the furthest away from the battlements. So let's see. Okay, they have actually manned it with Theroporoid. Hmm. Well, that's a bit annoying. So let's bring the ladders around the other side. They might move, you know, but it's fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be trying to bait the Theroporoi with bringing these guys forward to, like, here. Why, 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 why are they doing that? You guys just stop there. Actually, drop that. Very annoying that they have actually manned the walls. The one time I don't want them to man the walls. Uh, just stay there. Just stay there. They're not going to know what to do. That's the key thing. Uh... I'm going to use both. Oh, one sec. Oh, well, I just had a bit of a drinks <laughs> disaster, but it's all good now. It's all good. Uh, sorted it out. Uh, I mean, this is a, would be the best place around this side, but we're going to have to... You know, the more these Cretan archers actually die, the less we'll have to pay for them. They're literally just there just to take the towers of the town and to stop our Athenian hoplites dying. That's the main thing. By far, that is the main thing. I know it costs they cost a bit of money, but we'll uh, we'll probably get some more Tarantine Cav. We might get another bit of infantry if we can. Looks like we're not even really getting shot too much. Nice little angle for us, then. To come up the walls. So, what do they have? They've got the Theroporoi, they've got Uzonoi, and they've got the General's Bodyguard. So we can probably kill the other two units with just our General's Bodyguard. That's what I'm thinking. If we get here with these boys, should be able to probably fire at them. Yep. And then while they're doing that, we'll come up. While they're chasing the archers, we'll come up. And when they get close, we'll run away. <laughs> Good tactics. 300, 300 IQ plays, boys. One more volley. One more volley. Let's go. Run away. See what they do. They're going to chase us. Run, boys, run. They want to just chase us around these walls all day. That's absolutely perfect for us. We'll go through the gate. We'll also get the generals through the gate. Once you're done, get over that way, boys. Okay, they're not, they're not running after us now. I want to fight them off the walls. That's the main thing. So, bring you guys back. So you can fire into them. Key thing here, let's get through the gate before the Theroporoi stop us. I want to just basically bypass the Theroporoi in this uh, endeavor. So, bring you forward. 
you come down here. Basically want you guys to get to the point where you can fire at them. You guys get down. Jesus, that's a bit risky going that way, isn't it? Jesus. Not exactly what we wanted, but it's fine. <laughs> you guys need to get there to fire at them. I'm hoping we can bring these guys off the town square. Looks like we can. Now, whichever way they go, we're going to surround them. They're going to go that way. They've gone straight for the charge. Right, let's go then. Charge around them. And then we don't worry about the Theroperoi because they're not going to get to the town square in time. The Neocretans. Yeah, I think you can uh, fire at them now. You guys fight them. And then you guys just, just literally just halt. You should be able to fire at them now. Fire? There we are. Good. Fire down on them while we fight them. How are our generals doing? Doing alright. Let's come out though for a second. This probably is their next faction leader. Rally. Kill all these boys. The Uzonoi won't be a problem at all. We should also be absolutely shredding the Theroperoi by shooting them in the back. Are they getting any arrows in them? Yeah, they are. Good, good, good. Yeah, shredding them. That's fantastic. Kill this general. There we are. Now we need to kill all of them. Kill them all quickly before they all escape. Then we'll kill the Uzonoi and then the Theroperoi will be gone. There we are. Well, that was quite nice battle, wasn't it? Glorious, glorious, glorious battle. Now the Achaean League should be dead. And honestly, these cities don't matter to me anymore. Um, so I'll explain that in a second. Here we are. We've taken Olympia. So let's enslave. We've also got the statue of Zeus, which I even forgot about. And the Achaean League is now dead. That's glorious. That is fantastic. That is exactly what we wanted. So... I think what we'll do, we'll probably leave Elpidius back here. Could even leave... Uh, well, no, I don't want to leave Cremonides. And we're going to come all the way over there. And then we're going to bring everyone but this guy. And hopefully, let's have a look. Yeah, we're still plenty happy over in this region. They've actually got an arena over here. Uh, we could do with repairing the walls here, just so that they can't take it in one go. We've got to destroy that. Do they have that at Olympia? No, they don't. Good. Now, we've got a bit of cash. So, what we're going to do, we're going to spend that cash wisely on some very, very expensive mercenaries. Oh, we could get some Indian elephants. Oh. I'm really tempted to get some Indian elephants, <laughs> Are we in a situation where we need elephants? Not really, but it would be quite funny, wouldn't it? Well, first things first, let's destroy this army. I'll do that off screen. It's literally three units. Although their general unit is quite good, it's literally three units, boys. So, uh, yeah. Let's fight this battle. Ah, we fully destroyed them. But <laughs> honestly, that was their king as well. <laughs> But that was the most annoyed I've been in all of the battles. Because for some reason, every time I charged them in the back, they would accept the charge, get absolutely destroyed. And then I'd run my troops, run my cavalry away. And then they'd chase after the cavalry. And then my infantry would have to chase their infantry. Oh, I was not happy. But anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. And uh, we will see what we're going to do. Here we are. And yeah, fully destroyed. Which is fantastic. Bit annoyed we can't get all the way to Sikion. I wonder whether... We're, yeah, our generals can. Just our infantry can't. So I'm going to send the uh, generals forward first. And worst case scenario... You know, 
These guys haven't built any uh, any rams yet. We can see their full army now. It's actually pretty fat army, to be fair. Um, in case you're wondering, though, guys, the reason why I'm going after the Peloponnese now rather than going after the Aetolians is because by going after the Peloponnese, we are deleting enemies without making any new ones. If we go after the Aetolians, we'll then be bordering the Antigonids, who may come and attack us, and we'll be bordering Epirus, although our, they're our ally, playing on hard. That pretty much means that they've got a very good chance of coming to attack us anyway. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to stick to, uh, yeah, we're going to stick to trying to take the Peloponnese. And once we've done that, we will be good. There'll probably be another part after this, though. Uh... I do believe, because I don't think, you know, we'll be stable until we've taken the Peloponnese and we are ready to fight the Aetolians once and for all and go north from this stable position, defensible position. So yeah, we're not going to build any buildings right now because we need the money for troops because this army really is not quite strong enough to take them all the way. So, uh... Yeah, we will see. I will uh, click the end turn and let's see what happens. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to because, yeah, they're not going to take it down. Sparta might actually press the siege, though, and that would be quite annoying. But Sparta's our next target anyway, so shouldn't worry too much. Hi, guys. I have had another little break between our play sessions. So we are back. We obviously are trying to defend against the darn Aetolians. Uh, now, yeah, we're going to have to go and try and fight that army. Currently, they don't have any siege equipment, so we can take a little bit of time. We might even have to get some mercenaries, so I'm going to save my money for now. And uh, save the rest of the money, and let's press the end turn. And hopefully, in this play session, we can finally call this campaign saved. <laughs> finally. Uh, but we shall see. Let's press the end turn. Oh, I forgot to uh, unmute the music. It's actually muted from my ranking video. So do check that out down in the description below where we, me and uh, Mosca from the mod team rank every single, um, every single um, faction in the game. If I can speak, just reacting to that goddamn Spartan. But they have actually left the other city alone. And that's fine. Like I said, if they take these cities, I'm not bothered. You don't need to panic, guys. Never panic in this mod. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's accept this guy. While we're there, let us get the music back on so we're not silent anymore. There we are. Back with some music. Uh, but you can see they've actually abandoned Argos, Argos. I don't know why. And they've gone to come and siege us down. We do have a governor in there. So it's a bit unfortunate if he dies. Um, but the Aetolians have left as well. And that's always a good sign. That is a really good sign. I do need to destroy this army. So what we're probably going to do... We're going to get these guys out. We're going to get everyone together in Sikion. Because it's a good place to react to whatever's happening in front of us. We might even go and retrain these boys, but they are a bit slower. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to take them a while to get back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to merge them up to be two units. So 36, 123. That's actually a little bit unfortunate. Maybe I can sort this out slightly. No, I can't. I've screwed that up. I could have messed around with it a little bit more. These guys are going to come back for retraining. The rest of this army let's auto sort that. It's still quite decent. You guys can go back for retraining now as well. We'll retrain you. We'll get the archer. Definitely going to be worth it for sieging down some of these cities. And uh, this army, yeah, we're going to leave them there for one turn. I think that's good enough, leaving them for one turn. Got another guy come of age who is a decent commander, actually. Really good. Social drinker, good commander. Nice. He might become a drunkard later on, but look at the amount of money we're suddenly making. Quite a lot, guys. Quite a lot. So I think we can take out Carthage pretty quickly. Uh, sorry, not Carthage. Sparta. <laughs> pretty quickly. 
Uh, it just depends on how we go about this uh, and whether we'll have enough troops uh, for us. So we might have to wait a couple of turns. Now what I'm going to do is we were building that recruitment hub over here. Not quite built yet. We will actually build in a few of our cities now that we have a load of money, including Athens. I think probably the best option here is going for the army barracks. Because Arth Athens is our recruitment hub, I think that's the best option. And it does make us a lot of money. Uh, but of course, getting that recruitment hub in there. Tanagra as well. We did destroy everything there because of the Aetolians. But let's go for the market. How much money will that generate? 21. That's not enough for us right now. The roads cost 3,600. That will make 100. It's not quite enough. Like I said, I'm going to try and avoid building the elite taxes. Crop rotation, worth quite a lot and only does 24. Obviously, that scales over time with more population. Um, so probably worth actually building the sewers in there for some more population growth. Like I've said in the past, guys, population growth generates you more money over time as well. So it's always quite good to get. How about the market over here? That's going to generate a little bit, not too much. Um, I don't think we need to worry about population growth too much. We are getting close to the point now where we can put our cities down to low tax rates so they'll get population growth. But before we do that, I want to have secured the whole Peloponnese, to be honest. All of this region from Sparta. And then we'll look at turning uh, all our population, uh, population gr uh, our tax rates down so that we can uh, grow our cities rather than taxing the hell out of these poor guys. You can see... Some of these cities, negative population growth or neutral population growth, which is never great. You want to be growing your cities as much as possible. We've just put the taxes high because we had to early game and we still currently do kind of have to. So I'm willing to spend actually all of our money right now. Let's go to Argos. Let's see what we can build. Maybe the roads. Actually, that's quite a decent amount of cash we're going to get from the roads there. So I'm happy with that. Uh, Kyrestos. Let's go for the bit of population growth because it has currently no population growth. Hermione is actually quite a good town, making 2,000 a turn. I do want to grow that town, so another sewer as well. Polyrenia, though, that would really benefit from a port. If we stick a port in there, how much money is that going to generate? It says 70, but I believe that's not taking into account the new trade routes it's going to make. So I think it's worth sticking that there for now. So let's uh, end the turn again. Let's see what's happened. Push through a few turns here. Um, and then we'll hopefully be at the point where we can take the fight to Sparta. Just with one army, that should be enough. And we'll try and do some more risky sieging. Oh, here comes Sparta again. They <laughs> I think the thing is with Sparta, what they're going to do is as soon as I siege down their city. This is just an AI trait, guys. When I siege down their city, they will abandon, likely abandon the other sieges that they have. Um, yeah, likely abandon the other sieges that they have. So we don't need to worry about these too much. And like we can see, if we look over here, not built any siege equipment yet. So we still don't need to be worried about that at all. Um, might have to worry next turn. But let's retrain these boys. Costing a lot of money, but we are making a lot of money now. And let's get another Athenian Hoplite. Let's, in fact, queue in two. So I spend quite a bit of money there, but that's fine. Um, it looks very much like they've only seated down with one troop. So we could beat that troop with our general, honestly. Uh, and there's no guarantee they'll manage to get a ram through the gates. So let's get our spy over here so we can see what's going on. They do have some decent garrisons in a lot of these cities, especially that uh, Homoioi. Really good unit, as you can see. So we've got to be wary of those boys. Uh, some more Homoyo over there, and some more there, and some more there. So they've got some pretty elite troops. Still not built any siege equipment over here, though. But that's probably because it's such a small army. Uh, so let's keep auto-sorting these boys. Yeah, one more turn. One more turn to get these guys retrained and get some more Athenian Hoplites. While we're there, we might as well move these boys up. Uh, auto-sort them again. And we'll go straight after Matinea. It might cause the Spartans to attack us, but that's something that would be great. I do want them to attack us. We'll take a defensible position and beat them back. So next turn, we're going to move all of these boys out. We'll keep these guys 
uh, you know, following them behind, which will be great. Uh, and then we'll see what we want to do. We did just get a, a upgrade to a city. So was it Chalkis? It was Chalkis. So let's have a look. What over here? Yeah, look at that farming. Quite a bit of income. 100 income from that. Which is really quite good. It costs two, It's going to take 24 turns to pay for itself. But I don't think anything else in here would really pay for itself that way. Apart from population growth. How about the roads? Yeah, only 100 from them and they're more expensive. So... Farms, you've got to min-max everything here, guys. Obviously, like we've spoke about many times before. Let's get the uh, population growth in there. And everywhere else, I think we'll find we'll build next turn. So, let's end the turn again. Like I said, you've just got to min-max that campaign management as much as possible if you're struggling with it. Don't need to, you know, you don't need to be over min-maxing it and changing it every turn. But once you've, uh, you know... Got through a few turns, you'll be fine. Um, see, they've abandoned that siege again. AI being dumb. I think it's because of the uh, the rebels there. They want to fight them. But I'm very, very confident that they will abandon those sieges as soon as we siege down Matanea. And if they do that, fantastic. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to force them into that. What I'm actually going to do here is not general stack anymore. We're going to take this general, Creamedes. We're going to take Telephos as well. And we're going to take everyone else. Theodotus might die at any point. That's one thing that's a little bit scary. But apart from that, we're fine. We're going to build four ladders and a sap point just in case they do man the walls. What do they have in there? They just got a general. So that should not be a problem at all for us to siege down. We can actually get very, very close to catching these guys up. Don't know why you would stop there. Come all the way. Uh, so if they do attack, we've got defense there as well. And we're getting some more hoplites. In terms of our... Announcements, yeah, they're just sieging us down. I think they will leave the siege now. Cappadocia and Galatians are at war with each other. Nice. I like to see that. That's really cool. Polyrenia now has a port. And if we remember, we were on about, I think, 400 a turn last time before the port got built. So now they're on 700. So I think that port has brought in quite a bit of extra money. It's saying 111 for trade, 70 of which is by the sea. But the more we upgrade this, say we get a trader in here, the more that trade is going to scale and scale up. But I think right now the communal farming is a better option. Yeah, it's going to bring in more money. It's about the same cost, uh, but it also puts population growth into the city as well. So let's have a look where else. We've got Tanagra. Tanagra's not really got an amazing amount to build, like we've talked about before. But let's build the farms for that extra population growth as well. Eritrea, let's go for... We can actually get grain imports here, but you don't want to do that unless you have to for population growth later down the line. Don't want those. Sikion. Let's go for the trader in there. And then Corinth. Let's go for, you know, a bit of reduction in cost of our buildings from now on same for olympia it'll reduce our building costs from now on so that's quite good we're going to siege down that next turn so let's uh, end the turn and let's see what happens see if sparta does abandon their sieges i think it's very very likely the ai doesn't tend to like to let its uh, its cities here we go no, they still kept on the siege over there, but that's fine, honestly. Like I said before, it's, that's not a problem at all. Uh, and what we might do here is go for a draw-out battle rather than a siege battle. We might mess it up. Uh, we can't actually go for the draw-out battle. We can't get all the way around to there. But this might be a bigger battle than what we were first expecting, to be honest. Now we've got a pretty nice army, four away from a full stack. We could even boost it up with more generals if we wanted, but we're no longer general stacking because we don't need to. If you need to keep general stacking, guys, there's no problem with that. Just do that. Um, so let's see what would happen. Okay, so it is only the general. We're going to auto-resolve. He only killed 24. Don't need to play that battle. Uh, and let's enslave once again. Like I say, enslavement so much better than conquering them. Yes. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to leave our Greek archers behind as garrison. And we're going to come out and we're going to attack these boys. They have some nice homoyoi there. But we can take out a good couple of homoyoi units just with this battle. Uh, and then what we're going to do, we're going to look at probably sieging down another one of the cities. That should hopefully bring this army away. 
Um, and the Aetolians are just not really doing anything. They're probably worried about Epirus on the back. You can see Epirus has an army there. So they're probably just really worried about fighting Epirus right now. But like I say, the AI isn't very fast at conquering, guys. So there's no need to panic. Whatever happens, don't panic. The AI is generally slow at conquering. So we're going to get some more Athenian hoplites. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to get some more archers because they can act as garrisons. How many troops are in the slingers? They're the same. It's only like 10 difference in terms of garrisoning. So we're going to get some archers instead. Basically, they're really good for taking settlements. They're also great as garrisons because they're really cheap. So that's two reasons why we want them in there. So we've pushed them back. This now means we've pushed them back next to the city. So now we can actually do a, uh, a draw out battle on Megalopolis and take Megalopolis in, in this one turn. Do have a decent army, honestly. Um, but we've got loads of cavalry. They have no cavalry whatsoever. Look at this crypt here with gold, uh, gold attack, making their melee attack 17. Oh, dearie me. That's fantastic. They're a rubbish unit, so fair play. Uh, they're still happy at Matinea as well. Now, we've got a... In fact, I didn't even do this last turn. I should have. So, stupid of me. But destroying that's given us some extra money. Let's now build the land clearance in there. Over this way, Aegeon is getting uh, getting uh, the Athenian recruitment. I think we can also probably make a recruitment hub at Sparta as well, because generally it's quite good uh, for recruitment. Normally has good recruitment buildings. As you can see, third level barracks already. Pretty nice. Uh, whereas some of the other places, we can delete them. Like over here, do we really need these? I don't think so. Let's get rid of them because... Are we ever going to make... Just think about it, guys. Are we ever going to make Mantinea a recruitment hub? No, we're not. We're going to use Athens for the time being. And then we're going to use um, Aegeon as well in the north here. And when we've taken this city, they can just go across here. So they'll be quite close to getting up into this cluster. So, yeah, we don't need uh, Mantinea's military buildings at all. That's really not necessary. So let's go for the draw-out battle. Leonidas as well, which I believe... No, it's just a general. I thought you do start with a Leonidas that's one of your kings. But it's probably just a Leonidas. Um, a different Leonidas who's just a governor. Right, though. Cremonides the Builder. Let's get going. I'll fight this battle for you guys on the battle map so you can see what we're doing once again. We've just got to be wary of those homoyoi um, and the general. The general's bodyguard, of course, is really good. But we are dominating with our cavalry. Got to try and save as many of them as possible, but let's see what we can do in this battle. Here we are, guys. Epic battle. Sparta versus Athens, eh? That's the type of battles we get onto this mod for, don't we? Absolutely fantastic. We're going to try and use this hill at the top here. And again, we're going to try and allow the other army to come in uh, to the battlefield. Where are they? They're down there. And then the other army is actually over there. So what we're going to do, it looks like they want to try and... They are Spartans, so it looks like they want to try and have a go at us. Um, so yeah, let's get our boys spread out for now. And we've got our archers here as well that can fire down the hill. We're going to uh, group together these boys and we're going to group together the generals. So yeah. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. And uh, let's wait for them to get in. Again, we don't want them near the borders because we want to have enough runoff to go and kill all of them. Oh, we forgot about the Theroporoi. Poor Theroporoi. Don't run, bro. Don't run. You'll be too tired. And we're going to also skirmish a little bit in this battle. So I'll see you in a second, guys, when we've moved a little bit forward. So here we are, guys. We've come down the hill now. They've all grouped together. We're actually sending our Cretan archers forward a little bit. Because we have better range than their archers who are back here. So they definitely can't even get anywhere near hitting us. Killing these javelin men, always quite a good option. Because they do do quite a lot of damage while you're trying to engage their infantry. Let's have a look at these homoyoi as well. Really nice units. That's Cryptia. Really nice units. The Spartan boys ready to kill us off. We should destroy this javelin men. So we're just going to skirmish for now. They're not going to come forward, I don't believe. So they're probably just going to sit there and take it, which is good for us. Killing all these javelin men. We're also doing a bit of damage to the crypt here behind. Not too much, but here they come. So let's get back. 
Let's get back. Get away, boys. Get away. If they want to send their boys forward, it looks like they're coming forward. So let's us come forward as well. Bring our infantry forward. Have we got our Thoropo and fire at will? We do. And let's get our cav over here. Good thing they have no cav, so they can't really escape if we do manage to rout them. So again, that's going to be really, really useful for us. They've realized they've sent the Cryptia forward in a bit of a stupid fashion. So let's keep coming forward, boys. We're going to just try and envelop them like we have before. And we're going to get our cavalry around the flanks. Big uh, enemies we need to worry about are the Homoyoi and the two... Uh, and the General's Bodyguard as well. A fantastic unit like we've talked about in the past. These poor Javelin men are just going to have get absolutely shredded here. You get into them. You guys go forward. You guys get them. You guys go there. And we're going to try and flank with these boys. The rest of you men. Let's come round. We'll try and flank them with our, with our infantry as well. Always remember, try and flank with your infantry as well. Don't just, just try it with the cavalry. Um, and this side, this flank's going to be a bit battered, these boys, because they're fighting against some really, really good troops. So you guys get there. And then we're going to get our javelin men around. You guys can try and get in the middle. And then we'll bring our cavalry through. First things first, we're going to go straight after and through those archers. I do not want to have to worry about them for any longer than they need to. Guys, get here. And once you're on fire at will, if you halt, you should be able to fire your javis into the enemy. So let's fire in there. And now you can see we've got nice little surrounds on all of these boys. Right in the middle there as well. You guys fire your javis and then we'll halt you again. And then you'll fire again. Our cavalry's not tired because they've not been a... Uh... Go, 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 boys. Go, charge them. Get these boys through as well. They're a little bit slower than I was expecting. I thought they'd be a bit faster. Right, now fire into the Homoyoi again. So we're just going to be wary of this General's Bodyguard. Because like I've said before, they are a very good unit. Uh, if we can kill all of these boys in one swoop, then we can come back. Come on, boys. You should be faster than the Helots. <laughs> yeah, get them all. Kill as many as you can. And then we're going to do some filthy, filthy, filthy charges into the back of these men with our whole with all of our all of our cavalry units and that should be quite filthy honestly you guys get there in fact we might just go straight for the general here let's go for him he's he's turned around I'm gonna rally my general so he doesn't get in the charge so he's not on the front lines of the charge but let's watch this this should be quite brutal they have turned around but you can see just the weight of that charge was just brutal there we are. And we killed this general in the charge. That's broken him straight away. Let's get out. Come on, boys. Like I say, mass cavalry doctrine always seems to work, boys. So don't worry about that too much. Uh, these boys are all surrounded, so I don't think they'll be too... Some of them, of course, are in the army of the other generals. So we've got to kill the other general before their morale becomes really bad. So let's go for a bit of a charge into there fact no let's go for a charge into that crypt here because they should be an easy target a soft target uh there we are fire in fire in boys fire your javis in there if you can let's go this should be an easy easy route there we are broken them oh massive charge just destroyed them on the charge pretty much down to no men uh, and let's get back out again so now we've like fully surrounded these units in here. I'm not going to be able to get too many good charges off on them. Let's kill that crypt here then if they're willing to come out. So what we might try and do is a little targeted charge on the general's bodyguard to get rid of them. Um, and look at our cavalry is really, really not, not, not dying too much at all. Now we've surrounded them all. So they are fighting to the death. Now that's not exactly something we want in this situation, guys. So what we're going to do, I'm going to bring this infantry that's stopping them from routing out of the way. And that's really going to help uh, let them escape. And then we can charge them down, which is a lot better than them fighting to the death. We don't want them to fight to the death. Come on, guys, let's go. And then we can chase everyone down. The ones that have escaped is like units of like one troop. So I'm not worried about that at all. What I need to do is get rid of everyone else. Right. So, pretty nice battle, honestly. Took out a lot of Spartans. Guys, get after them. And then 
In fact, we we should we are going to allow these guys to fight to the death because I don't believe we've killed this general yet. There we are. We've killed him now. So kill the rest of that unit. How many's how many's left? Five percent. We can end the battle. Good victory, boys. Now the town should be ours. Some very good stats from some of the boys. That Hopper says 102. Very nice indeed. We didn't do everything with the cavalry this time, which is good to see. Our infantry coming in. So hopefully Megalopolis will now be ours. I will see you there, guys. Glorious victory. Exactly right, Cremonides. And I was hoping we could actually do another draw-out battle. Now, in terms of what we've got here, we haven't really got many garrisons that we can move. Clear genies over here, though. I'm willing to move him to Megalopolis if they'll be happy with that. They're still happy in Argos. Good. So we'll move him so we don't need to get rid of any more of our armies. And again, we'll destroy this building. Again, Argos. Let's have a look. What have they got? They've got the Temple of Dimos and Phobos, which is quite good for recruitment hubs. So we will keep that if it's in here. No, they got a shrine to Hera. I wish they would have had that in there because that's what we're going to make into a recruitment hub. Uh, but for now, it's okay. We'll, uh, we're will we fine. So we'll delete these again, get some extra cash. We don't need them like we've said many times before. Uh, we can keep the blacksmith there just to retrain any troops with more armor in the future if we need to. Uh, let's try and move some of our experience around. So in case you don't know, guys, you can actually kind of gain experience if you press control and you move in there you can see that unit now has three levels of experience if we go back here now we've got two units with silver rather than what we had before which was one with two and one with three bronze and i think two with the silver is actually better so let's go here let's see if we can gain any more experience with any of these boys it doesn't look like it but we've managed to make everyone now a silver experience then over here, what we want is a silver into some bronze ones. See if we can bring them up. Uh, you go in there. Yeah, that's brought that one up as well. Uh, ideally that. Yeah, we're down to a few men in that unit. You guys do this. This. That's gone the wrong way around. But that's okay. Because that allows us to send these boys back for retraining. So we'll send them in there. And you've got to keep cycling your troops like this, guys. Keep on retraining them back in your recruitment hubs. I'm going to go straight onto the capital of Sparta and try and destroy them. Because that's where they're recruiting a lot of their men from. Some of their best troops. So we're going to go straight onto Sparta. And you can see Sparta now only has three settlements left. Which is not too bad. They do have this big army, which we need to be slightly scared of. But apart from that, we're doing fantastically well. The biggest issue here is going to be garrisoning these cities, honestly. Because we don't have any good garrisons uh, in the vicinity. In fact, we might even use these boys. But we shall see. So we're rebuilding that. Don't need to build anything else. In terms of our money, once again, let's see what we can build. Um, let's see what we can uh, gain. So Kaidonia, again, we finished building there. I think population growth is probably our priority for a lot of these places now. Uh, this can actually upgrade. Fantastic. I don't believe we got a message about that. But anyway, uh, Kyristos will leave that for now. There's nothing there that's really important. Over here, let's go for the Shrine to Zeus again. Corinth is a good city. What we might actually consider doing here is building those large mines. So we'll save our money to build those large mines at Corinth. That's going to bring us a lot of money in the long run. The earlier we can get them built, the better. But we are very close to saving to saving this campaign now, guys. Very, very close. The only thing that can scupper us now is if the Aetolians decide that they want to uh, feast upon our flesh again. Uh, but it doesn't look like Sparta's actually leaving these. Oh, they are actually. And now they're going for a draw-out battle. Oh, my days. Thank you, Sparta. You have literally just brought everything into our hands. This is going to be fantastic. On top of that, they're attacking us so we can take a defensive position. And we will fight this battle on the battle map, guys. I will show you it so you can see what we're doing. But we're going to defend this time. It's pretty much the same tactics as before, but defensively. So let's see what they want to do. Here we are. Defensive positions we can take. It's a little bit tree, and I don't like trees because we can't see through them. These are actually a bit more sparse, so we can actually see a little bit. 
But we are going to take a defensive position on top of the hill. So the road leads to Sparta. Sometimes we can see the city, but the city should be over that hill, basically. Don't see it anywhere else. So they should be coming down the road, all their reinforcements. Although it did look like they would come out of the right-hand side, so maybe not. But we shall see. It doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to stick our Cretan archers in front for now. And they can shoot at the enemy while they come. What we're going to do is we're going to actually maybe ambush. Maybe, yeah. This is actually going to be really good for us if we can get a nice ambush off here. Have our men down the middle. Have these Zistaphoroi in the trees here for a little bit of an ambush. Oh, apparently not. Yeah, there we are. Now they're, now they're, now they're disappeared. These boys in the trees on this side for a bit of an ambush as well. And that is everyone. Let's see. So where are their reinforcements coming? Yeah, they are coming from the back. That's good. Good that we've got a bit of an ambush now. And it looks like they're going to send those two units forward first. I mean, a bit of a mistake by them, but it might actually stop us killing them both fully. Um, never too good. Ah, Cretans, I needed to bring you forward. Let's get you forward. So hopefully you can fire on them quite soon, because you've got a bit of height advantage as well. Um, but yeah, remember, we've got to destroy up to 85% of both of the armies. So that we can win this battle. Keep firing. What is that? That's Perioiko Hoplites, which are quite a good unit. And we're just going to straight fight them for now. In fact, no, we can actually probably try and flank them a little bit. I want both of them to get to the front line first. They've gone for the charge. I don't know where they're going. Or why they're going over here. Probably because of the Theroperoi. If they want to do that, we'll reveal our generals and then... Uh, Looks like they know where my generals are, even though they're hidden. Classic AI. And then we're going to come out of the blue, and we'll charge them in the back. They are a very good unit, like we spoke about before. Rally, so you don't get killed, general. Not the greatest charge ever, because we did kind of charge into their front. But let's get out. This unit should get killed, so let's, let's try and uh, flank them both. And then what we'll do, we'll move you slightly further up here to protect this side. If the enemy does get around. They're wavering already. They shouldn't be too happy once we've uh, surrounded them. Yep, broken already. Good. And we'll make sure we try and kill as many as possible here. Otherwise, we're going to have to reveal our cavalry again. We need to kill. We need to get them down to about 10 men, I'd say. Get the homoyoi. Guys, come out. If we can destroy this army first before we even get to the second one, that's good. Down to 14 men. They should go down quite a bit now, though, when we run through them. So now we've done that. What I'm going to do... You guys get in the charge there again. Right, you boys. Let's get you back. Defending up here. We'll get all our men in a line across there. We'll bring our archers forward. In fact, you should probably go all the way up. Hopefully, we can destroy this unit now. Maybe one more charge. Probably one more charge. So, let's try quickly before they arrive. The second army arrives. So, let's get them one more time. We'll rally again so we don't charge into them. We are losing a lot of our general here because this unit is a very good unit. But like I've said before, it doesn't matter too much. If we don't destroy them now, we will destroy them later. Just want to be in a good position for when the enemy, the rest of the enemy gets here, which is now. They love chasing cavalry. I really don't know why. Because you're not going to win that race. <laughs> really not going to win that race. So we've got our archers firing into the enemy. Spartan homoyoi, yeah, get them. This unit's a bit exposed now, but it's a Theroperoi. I'm not too bothered. So, yeah. We'll wait until we get engaged. Really not doing much damage there, because we're firing at them in, in the front. That's never going to do much damage. So we need to ideally fire at them from behind, but that's not going to happen, is it? So let's do that. Let's speed it up slightly. See what they all do. Good. They've gone for the charge. Gone for the charge in there. Let's come forward. 
Now we can just fully swoop around them and surround them with our cavalry. Our cavalry that have been hidden this whole time. Do have the general back there, the Perioikoi Hoplites. But not going to be too worrying to get, get rid of. So yeah, we've got a nice decent front line there against them. So let's go straight again in the in the side with the charge. And uh, let's get our Zista 4 a round ready to uh, ready to charge the enemy. Skiratai should be a good target because they are uh, swordmen. Oh, there we are. We killed one of their generals. Now, let's get in here. Bit worried about those Perioikoi, but we should be faster. Right, boys, get out. How many men is that down to? Five. So we should have destroyed that first army. So they shouldn't be able to get into... Oh, we broke them straight away. That's nice. Let's get rid of them then. Let's kill them all. Kill them all on this charge. That'll be quite decent. Also, go straight into there to the Skiritai. If we can. Broken them as well. Good. Let's get out now. Let's get out. Now we can get our boys once they've killed a few more of them. Turned around to fight that. Then we can get our Zista 4 around as well. Uh, around this way. Where's our generals again? They're here. Let's get that Skiritai. You guys come around. We'll try and flank them once again. Got to be careful of this unit. I don't really want that many men to escape. They've got a long way to run, though, remember? Okay, we've blo broken them. We've got to worry about another Homoyoi, though, I think. If I remember correctly. Yeah, there's Homoyoi there. And more Homoyoi over there. They're very tired, though. They've been running a long time. And I think we just mass, mass cavalry, cavalry doctrine them once again. And surround them. This is a Perioikoi Hoplite, so we don't need to worry about them too much. Once we're all in there, speed it up slightly. Let's go after the homo this Homoyoi, and then hopefully we can break them both with one charge each. But we shall see. Gonna have to... Yeah, they're, they're just a bit slow on the charge, those Zista 4, right? So it's not gonna have quite the same impact that we've wanted to have in the past. Let's get in there. Bit of a damaged unit, though. Oh, damn. We lost Cream and Edies on that charge. Like I say, should have probably rallied him, but I don't think he could have rallied then, honestly. So what we're going to do, we're going to send you after there because we don't want you to die. You are actually fine to just get in the fight now, these boys, because he's not going to come back, Cream and Edies. This is why we also had two units, two uh, general units in the army in case that happened. It can just happen randomly. Like, occasionally you'll get it where you'll fight... Um, you'll fight, like, a, a skirmisher with your general and they'll die. So, like I say, there's always a random chance of it happening. It's quite a brutal... This is more of a brutal battle. These guys... Goddamn. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. I'm going to go fight this Skiritai. Go fight the Skiritai, boys. The rest of you boys should get a good charge off. Not the greatest of charges. This Homoyoi is very good, though. We've got to remember that. One of our units is routing. Yeah, Theroporoi. Okay, we have broken these boys now, so get through them and kill them all. Good. Right, how many have we killed? 20% left. That's not ideal. General's gone for the charge here. Broke them straight away. Now he's died. Wait, was he the one that died anyway? No, we've bo both of them have died. He died on that charge. God damn it. Well, anyway, that's fine. I mean, a general's great, but we've got plenty of generals around, don't we? So, losing a couple here and there is never gonna, not going to be too much of a worry. You boys try and surround that Perioikoi. In fact, we should probably go after them. We'll send you after them. Got anyone else running away that we really want to bother about? I don't think so. There we are. Good. This doesn't put a stop to our plans, though, as well. How many are dead? I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah, eight and seven. We didn't lose too many men, but we did lose two generals, which is obviously really, really bad. But setbacks happen, guys. Setbacks happen. It will happen to you in the game as well. So I'll see you on the campaign map. Oh, so we did 
kill them, but they've come back and attacked us with another three units. That shouldn't be a problem at all. In fact, if we do well here, we might be able to get a man of the hour, which would, you know, replace our general problem. So again, we're going to defend, and hopefully it should be a nice, easy victory. I'm not going to play this uh, on camera for you guys. I'll just so show you the results at the end. Fairly simple battle. They killed 50, we killed all of them, surrounded them, and charged them in the back. Simple again. <laughs> nice tactics to use. Obviously, guys, if you are playing as different factions that aren't Greek, this might not be the tactic to use, so do bear that in mind. Uh, but yeah, um, always very good Hammer and Anvil. I'm sure you're all aware from vanilla. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, and hopefully they don't attack us again here. <laughs> Here we are, and Sparta is finally ours. They've not attacked us. They've ended their turn. Let's enslave them once again. That might grow a few of our cities. And now you can see they've only got two left. Hopefully, we can smash those two out very soon. Making a lot of money now because we've lost a lot of men. Um, the one issue we're going to face is that Spartan army. It's quite big. It's quite bulky. It's got a lot of Perioikoi Hoplites who are really good. Um, and our army is just not up to scratch, especially without a general. So we're going to have to try and find a solution to that. Uh, we'll bring the archers forward as well when we get back. Um, in fact, let's get another Athenian hoplite rather than any more archers. And let's see if we can kind of get a general out of thin air from somewhere. I mean, you would be a good answer. You would be good as well. But we don't have any garrison troops to replace them with. I'm thinking he is 57, so he's a bit old. So let's go with these guys. Get them in there. Swap you over. We need to destroy this. And first things first again, because it's a pretty decent city. Good recruitment. Let's get another recruitment hub. So we'll have three recruitment hubs in this area. So that's setting us up for the future. To take on the Aetolians, Epirus, and the Antigonids. You know, take the rest of Crete. Whatever we want to do. It's setting us right up for the future. So, on top of that, let's leave. Let's leave behind the Theroporoi. When we get... When we've destroyed Sparta, guys, what I would do if I was you, once the Sparta's been destroyed, is, um... What I would do if I was you is replace all these guys. Go get them retrained. Get them retrained. And replace them with archers and slingers. Uh, so that, you know, you're not wasting troops on garrisoning over here. Or oh, we could have moved you. Theodicles. Theodicles. Yeah, she could have, should have used you then. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we've got Cliogenes. If he dies of old age, then that's fine. Um, heroic deaths. Telephos. Yeah, I mean, and Cremonides. And then our dip, one of our diplomats has died as well. Got a new faction leader, Theodotos. Pretty good. I think, is he the one managing managing over here? Because he's got some... No, he's not. It's Millicertes. But Millicertes has got nine management as well, which is pretty nice. We've got a load of cash now. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to bulk up this army, just in case, uh, for when we fight that bigger army. What I'm going to try and do is just ignore it, honestly. We've got the Tarantine Cavalry. They're quite good. Don't really like the Theroporoi Cav. Let's get some Mercenary Theroporoi, Mercenary Infantry. Very expensive, not exactly recommended too much, guys, but I just want to protect against that big Spartan stack that's over there. So let's go down to the bottom of the map and try and build some stuff in here that we need. Like Megalopolis, let's get the sewers for that population growth. Over here at Ellis, let's go potentially for... Do have recruitment stuff in here as well that I could delete. I'm going to leave it in there for now. You've seen me delete a lot of recruitment stuff. I'm just going to leave it there for now because it does uh, bring up the lore a bit, uh, which is great. Uh, Corinth, what do we want to build? I'm thinking potentially the paved roads because I feel like it'll make, yeah, 300 a turn. That's pretty good over there. And then in Olympia, uh, not Olympia, Sikion. Let's go for the sewers as well. So, oh wait, we've still got loads of money. I thought I was going <laughs> to run out of money then. <laughs> I'm too used to playing the 0.6 beta. Karyastos, <laughs> uh, let's go. Yeah, nothing there that we really want to build. Uh, Olympia, yeah, we're fine. We are building in pretty much everywhere now. 
Egypt. Could go for the second level. I don't want that second level of temple though yet. I want to be able to build another level temple instead. So good, good. We're in a really, really good position here. Just two more settlements, one big army to defeat. And then we'll be done with Sparta. And at that point we can end. We're in a very, very strong position from then. Making loads of money. We'll probably be able to turn all our population, uh, all our taxes down to low. Which would be great. Uh, get that population growth going in all our cities. Let's see what Sparta wants to do here though. Let's see what they want to do. Okay, they've come to siege down that city. That's fine. Honestly not bothered. That really doesn't matter to us. Like I say, again, doesn't matter. What are they going to do if they take it? They'll just take that city, probably enslave it again. But it was their city before. They can't recruit from there anymore. Ah, rebel ships blockading our port. Greek city-states have been destroyed. I'm assuming they were over in uh, Anatolia. So may they mainly uh, form because the Galatians' culture is always wrong. Got another general. Where are you based? Wait. Oh, over here. Well, that's not ideal. But it's not terrible either. You can go and manage... Yeah, you can go and manage uh, this town. Don't have the ships to take them back now because rebel ships are generally better than your ships. So, and I don't want to waste money on ships at this point in time. Again, we're making loads of money. So it's really, really, really good amount of money now. Um, so let's uh, do this. I'm going to auto-resolve, guys. It might, yeah, 102. Not a problem. Send slave. Let's once again destroy this building. Have they got a shrine to Deimos and Phobos here? Temple of Ares. I'm willing to accept that. That's fine. Um, but yeah, Sparta's going to become a recruitment hub. This isn't. So let's get rid of these military buildings once again. Get some extra cash. Um, let's re rebuild everything. And let's build... Let's build some paved roads here. Let's see what that does. Yeah, it brings in a little bit of cash. Right then, who are we going to leave behind now? I think... Probably this level, uh, unit of 40 Athenian hoplites. And we're going to go straight for Messene. Now, what they very likely to happen is them coming and attacking us. And right now, our army is very weak. So we are going to spend the rest of our money on these hoplites. And potentially the Theroporoid cavalry. I mean, the Greek Peltas are actually quite good. I know the stats don't look fantastic, but they're actually decent, you know. Um... But we just need more infantry. More and more infantry. Um, all the way. And we've got enough now to defeat these three armies in one go. So that's good. That's fantastic. Over here, let's build the paved roads as well. And we need you guys. Actually, we should have saved some money for retraining those boys. So get rid of that. Let's retrain these boys. That's enough. Uh, we'll get them in front. And let's end the turn. Let's see what Sparta does. If they don't attack us, we'll just take the settlement. If they do attack us, we'll be fine. Uh, but we will destroy them. That is the main thing. We will destroy them. And then we'll be in a fantastic situation. Ah, glorious. A massive battle to finish. Finish this Save My Campaign off. This is what we want, boys. A massive battle. We've got Potatoes the Handsome. He does have two General's Bodyguards there, which are pretty scary. And a lot, a lot of infantry. So we're going to have to rely really heavily on our cavalry once again, boys. But that's what we've been doing the whole way through, isn't it? This is going to be a very brutal battle. And I think it's going to be close. So I will record it. You are going to see this battle, guys. So let us see you on the battlefield. And look, this is a fine day for battle. Here we are. So let's have a look at the map. What have we got? I mean, not great. The best place is probably on this hill over here. Now, what I think we're going to have to do, I'm just going to have to do it, is uh, focus fully on their general. I'm also going to stack all my cavalry together, not split them up because they don't have any cavalry. So, yeah. And we're just going to have to focus on their general. Where is their general right now? He's there, right at the front. Let's, uh, let's get up onto that hill. It's quite steep. Also get the... Uh, 
We can also get the, the guys right on top of the hill here to fire down into the enemy. Uh, and we're going to get our cavalry behind for now. And I'm going to look for an opportunity to take them out. Take out their general. If it means losing a few more cavalry, I think it's worth it, honestly, early on. Because they're going to, you know, they're in a straight fight, they're going to win. So we need to be dirty. So, yeah. Let's see what they do. Coming around this way. Our guys might hide. That might be a bit of a problem. Where's their general now? He's still there, right in the front. It's too much infantry to consider just going for the charge now. Should be on the left-hand side. So we've got to look at a way of potentially getting around his left-hand side and killing him that way. Uh, our guys are all supposedly hidden. Uh, so I don't know how they're going to know where we are. So now our archer's not hidden. Where's their general now? He's at the back. So I think what we do is get our cavalry up around this way. And we're trying to we're gonna when they engage us on the front lines, we'll try and get around them. And get that general dead. It's gonna be the main thing. Because yeah, we're gonna take a lot of damage from these boys. They're all really good. Uh, and we've got damaged units. You know, we're not in a fantastically strong situation with our units. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to just go for that general. And then hopefully do a few mass routes. But we shall see. He will be on this left-hand side. So hopefully we can kill him in just a charge. It looks like he's sufficiently spread from the rest of them now. And then we're just going to have to worry about the second army uh, separately. And they're all coming up now. Go in for the charge. That's fine. Not bothered about that. Where's the general now? Where is he gone now? I can't see him now. Get down the hill. He's there, he's there, he's there. Okay, he's spread from the rest of the army. That's fantastic. Let's go, let's go. We've got to just go for this. Also, don't want to get my uh, guys too tired early on. Which we've got to be careful about. Because once they're exhausted, they're screwed. So let's go for the uh, let's go for the mad charge into his left-hand flank. I think that's going to really, really do some damage if we can get a good charge off. Looks like they're not going to get a good charge off at the minute. Looks like they're just meandering. Come on, boys. <laughs> this is quite urgent. Why are you so slow? Unbelievably slow right now. Now, big thing, we don't want our general to die. So let's rally. Right in that left flank, please. Right in the left flank. Kill that general. There we are. Come on, boys. Now we need to get out. Let's go for the... Who else is engaged? Let's go for the Skiritai up here. They should route pretty quickly. They've focused on that side of the flank, which is fine. You guys face them. I want you guys to go after that Skiritai. Well, now we can run away from them. Hopefully, we can break this Skiritai and then break this one and then we can fold around them. We shall see. Come on, this has got to break him, surely. Broken, yep. Go, go, go. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. We don't want to get sandwiched. Come on, boys. Out, out, out. Out, damn spot. Out. Right. You guys, let's come forward. You guys can probably engage them. That'd be great. That is a homoyoi. They are shaken. They don't like the fact that their general has died. So we're really just going to have to rely on morale shocks like we've done many times before, guys. Hopefully this will be enough of a morale shock. Kill them all quickly. Kill them all quickly, I say. Get that perioikoi. The perioikoi are actually wavering now. So I wonder if we turn and charge. They'll break. Okay, now they've gone steady. That's not good. Get out, get out, get out. Come on, guys. You're so slow. Guys, engage them. Fucking hell, bro. Actually engage them, will you? That would be nice. It's kind of necessary right now. Right, let's come back. Let's come back. This is taking, you know, this is taking valuable men away from the main front line. So we need to get them, really. 
I think we go for another charge. While they're turned, let's go for a charge. Come on, boys. We're close. Should be quite a decent charge. Why do they, they turn like that every time? They turn like that every time. And now they're eager. Fuck's sake, bro. Fuck off. Right. Well, we've got these guys in behind. I think we go for the perioikoi hoplites over this side. You guys get the homoyoi. Got to be wary. Oh, some of our guys are tired now already. Some of our cavalry. So we might have to get them to rest very soon. Guys, get them quickly. Just kill as many as you can because they will come back like we see here. Securitize already come back. So, yeah, we've broken them. Let's go into there then. Let's lap around the flanks. Now let's get this homoyoi. Let's get them killed. And let's rally the boys once again. Come on. Why do they change? Why do they turn around like that? It's so annoying. It fucks your charges up every time, bro. Come on, wavering. Get them. Get them. Get them gone. Because they're a really good unit. Get them gone. Come on, boys. Get them gone. Hit them. Hit them. What are they... Yeah, we just need a few more casualties. There we are. Good. Get into them. Quickly. Right, you go fight that Skiritai. You can fight those dead units. And then I think we can come around. Probably get a bit of a mass route off on this side. If we're not careful. Well, if we are careful. If, if that's what we want, which will be good. Right, you guys get ready to receive that second army. You have used all your ammo already. You guys shouldn't have a problem fighting the Skiritai. They're just Skiritai. They're not very good. Right, we've got to be careful here. We've got to be really careful. I also want to rest my cavalry. So if we can get a mass route off, this would be fantastic. Rally the boys once again. Get into the Skiritai. We've just broken a unit. So hopefully that'll mean that these units break quickly as well. Mass route on the, on the side. Right, quickly out, quickly out, because we're going to get sandwiched otherwise by this uh, Skiritai. They're bringing the big boys up now. So, yeah. Right, fight the Skiritai. You guys fight these boys. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. This is really brutal. This is going to be a... Very, very brutal fight all the way through, I think. I lose a lot of men here, but as long as we've got enough to take the city, that's fine. What I ideally need to do is kill everyone that's in the city, and we should be fine. I don't know who's who's who, though, at this point. Broken. Wavering. Come on, boys. Get through them. Yep, kill them all now. Kill them all now. Kill as many as you can, because that's going to be important later. And then this goddamn Skiritai. Now, this Skiritai does need to die fully. So let's get rid of them. Come on, boys. Go for the charge. I know they're in the way. Go for the charge. Skiritai are pretty weak. Right, we need to rest the cav. I think we're okay for now, just holding this line. These poor guys are going to take a bit of a battering. But they should be able to deal with the Skiritai, surely. Come on, kill the Skiritai. God damn it. What I think I'll do is I'll send you over there to deal with them. Got to be wary of people coming back into the fight, of course. We don't want that. You guys get around this way. See if you can sort of uh, surround Potatoes, the handsome. Right. If you guys could get a bit of a rest, that'd be fantastic. Whether you can or not is a different question, though. At the minute, what they've got is Cryptia. That's no problem. General's bodyguard, that is. Um, so what I need to do is come down here, try and get rid of this Skiritai for the Peloponnese and Hoplites. Because the Peloponnese and Hoplites are quite good. But uh, we're not going to have to get our Cretans into the fight. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much. What I'm going to do now is speed it up slightly. If we can get those generals off being exhausted, that's going to help so much in the long run. What's that? That's Perioikoi Hoplites. Right, guys. Get around here then. I'm worried about the homoyoi. They're exhausted as well. So let's get into the script, uh, script skiritai. 
They should get shredded in that charge, surely. Not shredded enough. Now, we'll see if you can charge them. No, we're going to take some losses here, but it's fine. That's not a charge, guys. That's pretty much a walk. Come on. Come on. All right, get out then. If you're not gonna if you're not gonna do well, don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it at all. You useless pricks sometimes. Jesus Christ. Come on. Right, how are we doing up here? Oh come on. This has got to be a good good surround here. Very good surround. Oh, we've fully broken them all the way up here. Now we've got the bodyguard. That is just Perioikoi Hoplites. I don't know whether we will be able to take the city, but what we can do is actually get some more mercenaries when it gets to that point. And, uh, yeah, we'll be all right then. Right, boys, if you could actually rest and not be exhausted, that'd be great. I think we're in a good situation here. This has been quite a brutal battle. We've done pretty well so far. Um, but, yeah. Get round, get round, get round. Right, let's surround this bodyguard. We've got to kill both of these bodyguards, remember. So if we can surround them, it's the best thing we could do. Come on, boys. Push through them. There we are. That's better. Get properly into them. That's better. That's done quite a lot of damage. Uh, generals are still... Wait. They're routing still, so that's good. I was going to say, are they charging us in the back? Hopefully not. How are we doing here? Fight that homoyoi. Really damaged units here, aren't they? These guys are damaged quite badly too. But really doing some dam damage. Get through. Let's get this Spartan General's bodyguard dead. Get in there. Push in there, boys. Push in. Now I'll go for the attack. How are we doing over here? We're just getting surrounded by just shit, like, annoying troops. Where's the Peloponnesians? They can surround. They can go and try and surround, to be honest. Get over there. Okay, some of the cavalry is now tired, not exhausted. It's definitely going to help. If we can get them a bit fresher, that'd be great. Because we need them to be able to chase down the enemy as well. Right. Let's wait a little bit longer. See if they'll all go to tired. Especially the general. Come on, boys. Stop being so tired. Get less tired. Oh, fuck's sake. Fucking Skiratai just literally came back. Fuck off. Right. Now they're tired. They're not exhausted apart from the general. Should be okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to break these boys in this charge. Yeah, broken. Fight the Skiratai. They should break now. Surely. Surely. Spirits lifted by general's encouragement. Where is your general? All the way over there, bro. Come on. Kill the spirit. Are they still not broken? There's only three of them left. I mean, it must be a good general, Mr. Potatoes. Right. What units have we got here? Right, let's try and surround these boys over here then. We've also got to worry about these. Guys, remember, they are fighting uh, a general's bodyguard. So they're probably going to lose that. So we need to try and win this quite quickly. Oh, you guys get here. I think we could rest maybe again. You guys get them. If we can get a few nice charges off. Let's get up here. Come on, boys. Let's go. They just broke a unit, which is great. But that general's bodyguard is going to be a major nuisance. I think we did the right decision early on. Come on, guys. Did I tell you to get up here? What's wrong with these guys? These guys are bugged. Lance, they won't do anything. Well, that's... If they're the unit... If that causes us to lose, I will be very upset. Come on, boys. Big charge in here now. Big charge. Big, 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 big charge. Let's go. Get back out. Speed it up. 
Let's see what happens now. These guys slowly but surely getting whittled down. If we can break that unit, I think we can take on Teleutius or whatever he's called. Fight Acro Potatoes. They're countercharging. Never a good thing for the for an infantry to do. Get away. Right then. Good. Good. Would be nice if you would work. Get off the battlefield, maybe. Says they're fighting someone, but they're not. Halt. I don't know what they're doing, you know. I think if we target the Cryptia, we can destroy them. So let's go for the Cryptia. Get another rally off. Target that Cryptia. Let's go for them. Have they got... Have they not got... It looks like they got Skiritai in there as well. I think we're going to be okay. When I say okay, not okay, but we're not going to be dead. Oh, this is so tight. Look how tight this is. Kill the Cryptia away from the general. Who's left now? Just a Perioikoi. Fight them, men. Fight them. Honestly, we might need that 14 cavalry men. We can get over here around that general. And then go for the crypt here. I think that's going to be really, really, really useful. Get down there. Right, now let's go for the crypt here. They should die. They should not want to keep on fighting after this. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on, kill the fuckers. Well, if we can break them, we should be okay. Come on, break them. They're wavering. There we are. Good, good, good. Now out, now out, now out, boys. Now out. Now, what do we have here? We've got literally nobody left. Get them, and then we can start charging the general in the back. And that's all we have left. That's all we have left, boys. Can't believe this unit's bugged. We really need it. <laughs> we really do need it. Right, there we are. All right, let's set up for the charge. You're going to have to charge up a hill, which is never great for your cavalry. Right, first charge. Let's go. General again. We're going to have to rally. So we don't die. Because that would be the death of us right now. See, why do they keep doing that? It pisses me off, bro. They can just disengage and turn around without losing any men. For God's sake. Right, out. If we kill that general, we're going to be in a world of happiness. If we don't kill him, we're dead. We've got literally nothing left. I've got nothing left. We need to kill this general as well. And remember, we've got to have enough troops to get rid of these boys at the end. Which is very scary. Go for the charge again. If, we, if they turn around again, that's going to be so annoying. Please don't let them do it. Oh my god! That's just killing our men needlessly, bro. There we are. Now out. Come on, boys. We've got this. We can do it. We can do it. Why are they chasing us? You guys get in there just to fuck with them. Right, come on, boys. Stop chasing me. Right, when they go for the charge, we're going to charge. Because they'll go for a charge. They can't actually turn around now that they've gone for that charge. So that's great for us. This is just the most brutal battle. That's a proper charge. There we are. Kill that fool. Kill that fool. Now on this side, we've lost. Great. We should have enough now just to win the battle. Jesus, this was close. <laughs> Are we going to charge him then? Come on, kill him. Kill him, for God's sake. Oh, Jesus. Right, we're going to wait. They're attacking us, so they, we don't need to do anything now. We can just wait. And replenish our health. 
They're going up there to try and kill all of that unit, but that's... It's a mercenary unit, so it doesn't matter. Got a general's bodyguard to get rid of. So, cavalry come up here just for now. And hopefully you get away from being exhausted. Hopefully these guys too. If we can get them to tired, because they're going to be exhausted, these guys. Yeah, if you go after them, I'm pretty happy, because I can't actually move them. So, I don't mind. I'll replenish my uh, health and tiredness. Oh, now we can move them, can we? Yes, finally. Good. They're, they're, they're fresh as well now. <laughs> Hopefully these guys get a bit, of, uh, bit better now. Right, charge. Right, Cav. Let's go. I know you're tired. But this is it. This is the last remaining. Look at them fucking doing this again. Right, kill them. Kill that general. Kill him. I think we killed them all. Got anyone? They've got this. That left. Well, I'm gonna wait a second. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna go after them because we could still lose this, guys. If any of our guys rout, we're done for, aren't we? So let's wait for them to chase them off. Uh, I don't know. Let's go after them. Hopefully they'll break. We'll see. We'll see. I think. I think we should win this. Come on, boys. Good charge. That's all we need. That wasn't a good charge. I'm not gonna lie. There we are. Ooh. Oh my days. That was brutal. Brutal. Really, really. And I think that's killed both of the armies. We do have 254 men. Ooh, Peloponnesian Hoplites. 203 kills. Well done, boys. And a lot of them. Cretan Archers, 122. Sister Foray doing well. Mercenary Hoplites. Lots of kills. Jesus Christ, that was brutal. But that should put an end to Sparta. So we will see. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Oh, dearie, dearie me. We're getting attacked again. Now that is a problem. How many troops do we actually have? How many did we re uh, get saved? I mean, I think we can do that. I think we can. It's going to be very tight, but I will do it off camera, guys. So I will see you after this battle. Here we are, guys. It was a bit closer than it, it looks, to be honest. But luckily, the king actually routed very early on. And then we could just rout the other unit. So I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. They actually became rebel. Well, that doesn't matter. We will leave that settlement alone. Um, but I can now declare that this campaign has been saved. So, thank you all for watching. Sparta is destroyed. A bit annoying that that became Rebel, but I don't really care about that. Now, what we can do now, we'll send you all the way back to Athens. Looks like uh, Athens is about to be under attack, but we do have a decent garrison here. Can also gain a load of mercenaries. So, what we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to abandon this siege. We're going to come back. What we're going to try and do is retrain all those boys... In here. We can actually retrain them here now. That's good. So. Oh, some of them just can't make it. But we'll probably go retrain them. In there. Get them retrained. Go and save Athens. That would be my plan from now on. What I would also do at this point. I might as well show it to you guys. We've got another candidate for adoption. He's in Hermione. So he can go and govern. Somewhere that's making a bit of cash. Somewhere that we can... Probably Sparta. We'll send you to Sparta. That also means that we can remove that Theroperoi. So what I am what I would do now at this point, guys, is I would replace... Oh, we've also got a coming of age. Uh, another guy over here. So we'll have to bring them off the island at some point. Um, so what I would do now, if I was you, now that it's been saved, is we're making a fuck ton of money, aren't we? Which is great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually reduce all the tax rates. See, down to low. It might... Uh, have a bit of an impact short term. But in the long term, you're going to make more money off this. So they're all going to go down to low. Uh, Charistos as well. Wait. It's been blockaded. It's not been sieged. That's fine. Down to low. Low's already there. So we're losing, you know, about 3,000 a turn from this. But at, the, at this point, we're okay. 
We don't need this tax rate so high. And bring it down low. Low. We'll start making more money from the population that's growing in these settlements than anything else. And we've got 20,000 in the bank. So what I would do, if I was you guys, I'd get all these units retrained. Apart from the mercenary ones, of course. Then what I'd do is I'd start replacing these garrisons that are not proper garrisons like these guys. These guys. Uh, with actual archers or slingers because they're really cheap. Retrain the rest of those boys. And you'll have... With, from this army, this army, and the retrained troops, that'll be at least a full stack. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit more. So, yeah. I think that's good. And I think we've definitely saved this campaign. In terms of the rating, guys, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. The main issue was obviously ping-ponging back between the Aetolians and the Achaeans at the start. Um, which is really annoying. In order to avoid that in future, the, if you take anything away from this, guys, from this Save My Campaign uh, gameplay sort of mini-series that I've done, if you take anything away from it, what you should take away is the fact that you need to take out enemy factions early on instead of going for rebel cities if you are bordering them. Because no matter whether you're allied with them or not, especially on harder difficulties, they're going to attack you, guys. They will attack you. So what you need to do instead of that is um, take the AI out early on. Don't go for the rebel settlements. It doesn't matter whether they're allied to you or not because they will attack you at some point. So out AI the AI and betray them. Uh, but that is the main thing to take away from this. We'll get a spy around here. And then we are set, guys. So if you want to find these saves, you can actually get access to the before and after save in my Discord down below. So join my Discord and you can find them there. If you want to submit saves, you can submit them there or you can submit them on the RIS Discord. Just tag me in it. I am on the Discord there as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. This has taken a lot of work, this video, more than five hours of filming to save this campaign. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Send us your love. Comment down below what you think. And I will see you all again on the next video.